In our previous video, we illustrated how to create a job that pulls data from a flat file source and writes it into a table in the database. Today we're going to expand on that by adding a table compare to identify changes from the flat file source to the database table so that we can insert, update, and delete records. So we've got our job open, we're going to go into our data flow. You'll see we have a query that pulls data and then writes it directly to the database. We're going to add a table comparison by going to the transforms section, go to the data integrator subsection, find the table comparison transform, bring that up, we'll call it table compare sales org, and we're going to join that in, we're going to delete our join between the query and the target, put this table compare in between. When we open the table compare, we'll see we have some parameters we need to complete. First one is the table name. This is the name of the table that we're going to compare our source data against to identify which records need to be updated, deleted, or inserted. So in this case, we're going to use our target table as that target. Our next parameter is the generated key column. And what this is, is you can identify a field in your comparison table that can be added to identify a unique record so that if there are duplicates, um, the table compare will be able to handle them. The next parameter is the input contains duplicate keys checkbox. And you want to check this if your data has duplicate, has multiple rows with the same key that you're going to be comparing against. By checking this, it'll activate a process by which the duplicate rows are put into memory so that it can process them at a later point in time within the table compare process. Um, ours does not, so we will leave that unchecked right now. Detect deleted rows from comparison table. What that will do is it, if it's left unchecked, it's not going to process or flag any records for deletion. It's going to simply discard them and they will not go make, make it onto the target. Um, if you do check this, then it will delete records that do not exist in your source, but do exist in your target. The next section is the more than one deleted rows with the same key value. In order for this to be updated, or activated, you need to have a generated key column and the input contains duplicate keys and detect deleted rows. And in this case you can choose either to detect all rows, which will delete every row that uh, does not exist in the target, or you can choose the detect row with largest generated key value, which will take the largest value in this column that you selected and that will be the record that will get deleted. So if you have three rows with the same primary key but different uh, generated keys, in this case date open, it'll take the largest date open row and delete it, deleting one of the three duplicate records. Um, and for this, for purposes of this exercise, we don't have any of those, so we are going to leave all these blank. Next is the comparison method. A row by row select will go, just as it says, row by row. Uh, it's going to submit a, a transaction to the database to pull back each individual row and compare it. Cache comparison table is going to pull the entire comparison table into memory and then process the table compare that way. The sorted input will identifies that your records in your source are are sorted in the same manner as the, to which the uh, they are sorted in the target and in that case it will run through the table only once once it hits a a new value in the keys and it will uh, move on it's it's similar to indexing at the database level but it, it improves your performance because it only runs through the table once but again your data from your input query has to be sorted in the same manner as these primary keys so that it can properly run otherwise you'll your data will get corrupted and it's not going to work the way you expect it to. The next pr parameter is the input primary keys parameter and what this is is the key that will identify your unique record. In this case it's our sales office 
We'll pull that in there. This is the field that it's going to use to identify which is a new record. We have a compare columns, which will be, in this case, the remaining columns. And what this is going to do for each value in sales office, it's going to look at these fields in the target and compare them to the source. And if there are any changes, it will flag them to as, to, as an update. If there's a sales office that does not exist in the target, then it will flag it for deletion, assuming that you have the detect deleted rows uh, value checked. If there is a sales office that exists, but one of these values is different between the source and the target, then it will flag that for update. This filter box over here allows you to add criteria. If you want to update your source, but not the entire source, you want to use certain parameters to only to identify specific records to be updated. Uh, for example, like a country, if you only wanted to, to update uh, records from the USA in our, in our case, then you could add criteria in here so that it only looks at the rows with where the country is equal to USA. And if we do that, then anything that has a country other than USA will not get processed. We're not going to do anything of that here. And so that is all we need to fill out for our table compare. By joining it to the target, it will everything will go directly into the uh, will come out direct, uh, directly as a insert, update, or delete, and then go to the target, and those changes will be made in the target. Save our changes. We're going to look at our flat file here, and you can see that our in our original flat file we had three records, and if we look at our table, we have those same three records. So what we're going to do is we're going to update Finland to Florida, and we are going to add a new record to be we're going to save the changes to our flat file and then we will go run our job job is completed now so we will toggle back we'll rerun our query and as you can see now our records have been updated we've added the new record and what was originally Florida or Finland is now Florida uh, so we've updated our records and we have a new data set so that as the source file changes so will our target table